is Eric Biddings. I'm a hip hop recording artist out of South Florida, Palm Beach County to be exact. Um, been making music since 2004. It was my first original project, so I kind of rounded off to that being my beginning. And um, got a few albums under my belt and just trying to, you know, make, a, make an impact in the world. Hopefully. I better. Says you don't like the rapper type, but I'm different. I'm an 80s baby, and I grew up on a lot of um, southern hip hop. Like, because of my cousin, he listened to only southern music, so I was in a box for a minute. And it was a lot of Outkast, Dungeon Family, you know, and outside of that, before that, a lot of people don't know I didn't, I wasn't even allowed to listen to rap because of a religious reasons that I was brought up in, which is a lot of Motown and R&B. So um, those two together kind of put put together this um, fusion of like neo soul and southern hip hop. And I'm a big Outkast fan. A lot of people hear that in my music. So uh, I never discredit my, my tone or anything from that, but that's just my influence, um, at least taste-wise. And other than that, it's, it's life and it's, it's people and it's they stories like um, real life situations and you know I just draw inspiration from that and then influence. Where's Planet Coffee Bean? Well, first of all, you have to believe in magic to even understand this answer. And I'm a firm believer in magic, but Planet Coffee Bean is more of a, a mental location I would I would say just to take you out of the, the normal realm of thing what's what's going in your own in your physical environment and I believe like the mind is more powerful than we, we like to believe so planet coffee bean is this alternative way of life and thinking and living that first you have to channel in your mind one of the things that people don't know about me is I, I designed pretty much 80% of my album covers and even some of the flyers uh, I got like, this thing I do with construction paper and I cut them out similar to how I did with this uh, the alien here when we first started out and um, it's something my manager T Green really uh, pushed me and embraced me to do the piece of advice I, I would give to upcoming artists um, you know be willing to make mistakes or know that you're gonna make mistakes and then embrace that that era of you know that this chasing it this thing we call a dream uh, I, I, I find that it's so difficult when a, a person's mind is set up to where they, they already believe everything they're gonna do is is gonna just be flawlessly did or without error and it, and it frustrates you once you realize the beauty and error or the mistakes and what you learn from just overcoming all these obstacles, that's the part that's gonna get you through. And like, I, I can't stress no more than I can about, you know, how important it is to embrace knowing that it's it's gonna be obstacles. Like, it's gonna be hard and 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 just, you know, go with the flow, do, do you as, as much as you can. And, listen to very few find a couple people you trust and that's it like lock the circle and you know just create and, and let everything flow i'm eric biddings and this is my life in the cloud you talk about a whole lot of people minds